Am I the asshole for lying to my son's girlfriend's parents? My son has been seeing this lovely girl for about four months. They are both 16. Her parents have a litany of issues. Super controlling, narcissistic mom, and alcoholic dad. Generally, because she lives much closer to the school, my son goes over there occasionally after school and I pick him up in the evening. I will also drive him there sometimes on the weekends and pick him up when he's ready. The mom has all sorts of odd rules for my son when he's there, which is fine. It's her house. Most of the rules seem to be based around her daughter's chastity. Chasticity. He is allowed in her room, but not on the bed. Then, weeks later, he is allowed on the bed, but not under the covers. What the heck? And she will check on them quite regularly, making sure they are being quote unquote proper, not under the covers, the door open, etc. They also want him out before a certain time, which changes depending on, I don't know, sometimes it's 7.30, sometimes it's 9.30, whatever. Regardless, she usually doesn't come to our house because her parents are so controlling. Well, today she came over for the first time. The night before, her mom called and wanted to talk to me. I am a correctional officer and was working that night, so I wasn't home to take the call. My son offers to let her talk to my husband, who was home, but she only wanted to talk to me. Later on, her dad calls and he talks to my husband. I don't have the details of the conversation, but basically he wanted to make sure that there would be at least one parent home at all times and that we would keep an eye on them at all times. My husband agreed. The thing is, we don't really care. I was sexually active at a younger age than them. My son and I have had lots of talks about consent and not being sexually pushy with people and respect and birth control, etc. He is a lovely boy and I believe he would never push her to do anything she wasn't comfortable with. They have been sexually active with, with each other already. Teens will find a way. Anyway, Not only did I not check on them constantly, I told them that as long as she was willing, I would give them as much privacy as they wanted, providing that they were using protection. My husband and I actually had to go out for a couple hours and I asked a good friend who lives just down the street if she would for me. If this girl's parents called or showed up and pretend to be my cousin, parents did not have our exact address yet So we would have had a warning about them showing up. Good friend laughed and agreed. Turns out it wasn't needed. Dad eventually came and picked her up. I absolutely stand by my opinion that my son can have privacy and agency over his own body at this age. But I am kind of wondering if I should have made that choice for someone else's child. I kind of feel guilty, but I think her parents are way over the top control freaks. So am I the asshole for lying to my son's girlfriend's parents? Would I be the asshole for not telling my siblings about their true paternity and taking everything in my dad's will? I, 38, have been no contact with my dad and two younger siblings for many years. My dad always treated me like crap because he was convinced that my mom cheated on him, because she did a lot, and trapped him into a shitty marriage and that I was not biologically his. For my 13th birthday, my dad bought me a paternity test, and even though the test results came back that I am indeed his, he accused me or my mother, of sleeping with the test guy, lol. I have also done an ancestry DNA test and also matched with all of his relatives, so I'm pretty sure that unfortunately he is my bio dad. I have known for a long time that my younger sister was not my dad's. When I did my ancestry DNA test, my sister wanted to get one too. My mom freaked out admitted her indiscretion and begged me to convince my sister that it was a waste of money and that she could just have a copy of my results. I did because I thought I was protecting her and she was going through a rough time at the time. I recently got a notification about an ancestry DNA match. I looked it up and it looks like my brother's ex-wife got one of the kits for both of my brother's kids. 
And lo and behold, my brother's kids only seem to share relatives from my mom's side. FYI, my profile uses a screen name so she would not have recognized who I was. My brother and sister have been really shitty to me for years. Comments about how I owed their dad for putting a roof over my head as a child and how dare I accept items from their grandmother's estate, etc. I put up with it for years because they are younger and honestly not that bright. I thought that they'd come around eventually. My dad made sure in a drunken fight with my mother to give me a copy of his will, and I still have it, so that I knew that he had put a stipulation in there about his estate being divided amongst his biological children. I know that he has not changed his will since because his mental capacity has changed. TMI. So would I be the asshole if I did not tell my siblings and just let this play out at the will reading, take everything and kick them out of the family home? I would also be setting up funds for my nephew since my loser brother doesn't pay child support. My husband thinks that this is stooping to their level as they both rely on his estate currently for survival. So this will ruin them. They have no education or way to support themselves currently, but I kind of want to stoop. Am I the asshole for getting my sister an XXL jumper when she asked for an L? So I, 19 female, have a 14-year-old sister called Jade. Jade's birthday was a few days ago, and apparently I have majorly screwed up. Jade asked me for a jumper from a certain online store and asked for it in a size large because she wanted it a little baggy. She is usually a size medium. The issue is that I've bought from this store multiple times and their sizes are all out of whack. For example, you order a size large, but it fits of that a size small. Or an XXL is the fit of a large. It's very annoying and I've made the mistake one too many times. So when Jade asked for a large, I ordered a double XL. I didn't think anything of it. In my mind, I was getting her what she wanted in the fit she wanted. I do the same with myself if I buy from there. Well, her birthday rolls around and she opens my gift. I preambled a little by saying that I had to get it in a bigger size because of the store's sizing and she said fine. At first, she's super excited, but then she sees the sizing. She gets really upset and doesn't talk to me for the rest of the evening. My mom is furious with me. I made it very clear that it's because of the store's weird and screwed up sizing issues, but they weren't having it. Also, the jumper fit exactly to how she wanted it to. So... Am I the asshole for getting my sister an XXL jumper when she asked for a large? Am I the asshole for saying my brother's girlfriend isn't welcome here because she was pushy about my wife breastfeeding? My wife has pernicious anema. Her body cannot absorb vitamin B12. Even if she ate a bunch of food full of B12 or an entire bottle of supplements, it would make no difference. She has regular B12 injections to make sure she gets enough. My wife is pregnant. She's being monitored closely because of the lack of B12 is not good for the baby or for her. Her due date is in 20 days and her doctors have told her under no circumstances is she to breastfeed. They say the lack of B12 will cause harm to our baby. The situation. When we announced her pregnancy, my brother's girlfriend wouldn't stop asking my wife about breastfeeding. At first, she was not bad. She gave my wife two books about it, but she would not stop bringing it up when my wife explained she can't breastfeed because of her condition. She invited my wife to a support group for moms who breastfeed called Triple L or something like that. She went too far as to give my wife's email to other moms she knows so they could email my wife about why she should breastfeed and give my wife's printouts from the internet about a woman who had B12 deficiency and breastfed. That woman was a vegan. She didn't have my wife's medical condition. My sister-in-law also apparently solicited milk for milk donations on our behalf, even though we never asked for this. 
We wouldn't take milk from random strangers. There's no regulations or checks and balances where we live, so we have no idea what was in the milk. We asked her to stop it, but she wouldn't. The last straw was her having these donors emailing my wife after we asked my sister-in-law to stop. I understand she is passionate about it and it worked out for her with my nephew, but she isn't a doctor and neither are the people emailing my wife. Since she wouldn't stop when we asked her to, I told her she is no longer welcomed in our home. My wife made a new email address and we are going to listen to actual doctors. My brother's girlfriend actually said the doctors don't know what they are talking about, which is why my head is going nuts. I can't even explain. My brother reamed me out for speaking to his girlfriend harshly and says I owe her an apology. For the record, he backs up what she says and thinks my wife needs to listen to her. His girlfriend is mad too and thinks our baby is unfortunate because of all of this. I get she was trying to help, but she went way over the top in my humble opinion. So, am I the asshole for saying my brother's girlfriend isn't welcomed here because she was too pushy about my wife breastfeeding?